So while the world goes to hell in a handbasket, we're going to tackle our trip to Universal Orlando back in February. You are listening to episode 394 of the unofficial Universal Orlando podcast. Hey everyone, welcome to the show. I'm your host, Lee. Uh, We need to put a positive spin on the world at the moment because it is an absolute storm. So we're going to talk about something awesome, which was our trip to Universal back in February. And I'm not going to do it on my own. I am joined by Tracy. Hello. And the most awesome Mr. Darren. What's up, Internet? How's it going? (laughs) And of course, Christopher. Toilet paper, please send (laughs) toilet paper. <laughs> Is that me? But please TP my house. <laughs> oh, I remember in my day when people had that much toilet roll, they literally used to fling it at people's houses. <laughs> oh, the good old days. Oh, anyway, good. yes. Crazy oh, times. Yeah, yeah let's get to the good stuff. Yeah, we have promised our listeners that we would we would be an upbeat and positive show this week. And as I said, we haven't discussed our trip um, back in February as a group. But yep. rather than do it trip report style and have Darren and Chris get bored with us recounting everything, I've kind of hit the highlights of stuff that everyone can chime in on. Okay, nice. interesting. That's your highlights. No, the highlights of the trip. Ooh. Highlights not necessarily as a high or a low, just okay. points of discussion. Okay. Buckety type list items? Well, I mean, that'll Maybe. be on there, of course. Um... <laughs> But kind of hit it in, in chronological order, but I'm going to leave. We have not talked about Mardi Gras yet, and obviously because of everything that's going on, it's done. Yeah. Which is mm. crazy. Um, which so, uh, we've got to be so thankful that we were even mm-hmm. able to make it. Exactly. You know? Well, I've got some short videos I think we, I should sort out and put up. Yeah. Of the, of the floats yeah. and stuff. So we'll leave that mm-hmm. till last because I want to end on a positive note because yes. there are going to be some negatives in this. Nothing too bad, but there will be. Uh-huh. And the last thing we did as a group be us without them. kind of has a little bit of a negative, so I don't want to end on that. Um, but obviously yeah. one of the first things that Tracy and I did when we went to Universal this time was we went to Red Oven yeah. Pizza Bakery for our dinner, as it were. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been five years since we went there and I thought, I know you guys have been, but not for a, a while so I kind of wanted to discuss our thoughts on Red Oven because I mm-hmm. enjoyed it. Yes, I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. It's not as cheap as I remember it being. It's pizza. I think, mm. it's, it, I was, think it has gone up. It was, na- it was nice. It's been a while since I gone. I think for me it was a case of, I've already done this. Yeah. You know, maybe we should have gone upstairs and gone to Moore's, well, Panda in, Express. In Panda fairness, Express. we planned on going over after we'd been to SeaWorld on Monday and because Jade was ill she ended up going to bed and Tracy and I went to Chili's for takeout in the end yeah um, and we'd planned on going over and doing Hot Dog Hall of Fame so in hindsight had I done that had had I known that was going to happen we'd have probably gone to Hot Dog Hall of Fame well yeah. it is what it is it's happened now but I like it, it. it I thought nice. that it was good pizza it yeah was, it, yeah it's good pizza I don't I think I've ever heard of you, you talk about yeah. it to be honest uh, the last one I got there was a little burnt, um, and like they knew it too. Like they came out and they're like, "Is this one's a little dark on the bottom? Uh, <laughs> we can go ahead and get you another one refired." And we were getting ready to head out, and I looked at it and I was like, "Oh, it's not too bad." Okay. That's well done, my friend. Yeah, but I mean, at least they offered, like they they admitted it right yeah. there and yes. didn't let me try like try to let me walk away. So that was cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's uh, what I like about it is I've said this a million times before. When we go on vacation, I love eating food, theme well, park yeah. food specifically, um, <laughs> kind of outside as the sun's going down. And mm-hmm. it was about that point when we hit Red Oven that night and we were on like that outdoor veranda that's kind of covered but not covered. Like, like basically there's like, like um, the bar type yeah, there's like the Yeah. It's like a breakfast bar if you like. Sat just looking out over on City Walk as the, as the sun goes down and it's... It was I, lovely until the rain. I love City Walk. Yes, me too. Yeah. It's weird how my experience of it has changed since we first went because it was just like we took no notice of it. And now it's like I could, I could quite happily spend hours there mm-hmm. now. I love it. Yeah, it really goes from a pass through to a uh, you know, place you want to hang out. Yeah. And, and they've really done a good job of putting things in there that, that merit it, you yeah. know. Um, but even on top of that, be, even before, it was just such a beautiful place. Yeah. Um, it, yeah. it just needed more 
things to do and they're they've really done it so mm-hmm. it's awesome so from a yeah. pass through to a venue well it's going to be interesting yeah, i like that was, you just talk over me i like it's going to be interesting to see what happens with the closure of um fossil and pick and is it island, island clothing the other mm-hmm. one to see what they put mm-hmm. in there i mean the rumor is a big universal store but then you've got that other store the other Which side to close. what they'll end up and they'll, putting they'll in probably put something else in there, there. but um yeah we went to do we were going to go and do mini golf on jumping ahead slightly it's kind of relevant just a bit. We were going to go and do mini golf on Tuesday night. Mm-hmm. I didn't realise how expensive that is. Yeah. Even Jade, who has no concept of the value of money, went, no. It was going to cost us nearly $50 for the three of us to do one round. Whoa. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Darren, when did, you, when, did you, when did you become <laughs> Rockefeller? Scrooge. Oh, I'm, just thinking, I'm just thinking, like, I wonder how much it is at any other place around there. For three like adults to play, mm. Mm. it just it felt. Oh, I'm a little guessing expensive. it's probably more like thirty, like at the top, like yeah. on the high end. I mean, it's worth yeah. it. It just I was a little wary of our money at that point, and it's like fifty dollars is a I'll lot. I'll tell you of what, money. we didn't take into consideration. You get AP discount. Yes, there. I did take that into. Oh, you did. Oh, okay. Chris, have uh, you ever done it? I've never heard you talk no, about we, it. We talked about it, and I wanted to do it. the The problem that we had was. It's always scorching hot out there, so I will not play putt putt while uh, being destroyed by the sun. But <laughs> definitely, like you know, if we had downtime and we were over there during the winter time, I'd, I'd try it out. Oh no, yeah. do it at night. I was say we played the yeah, night much better. Night. Yeah, we haven't yeah. done it during. I'd, the I'd rather do it during cold weather, just because even at nighttime, you know, down here during the summertime, you can still sweat. Darren, did at you do it? Mm-hmm. Did you do it with us when we did it in 2013? Were you with us that night? No, I don't think so. There was I a think big you went group with Eric. Yeah, there was Eric and Andre and Travis. We did a. Yeah, there was I, a big group of us. I yeah, I don't. Well, maybe I did. Travis is in, isn't in any of the photos. No, he definitely did it with us. It was after the night we did cinematic, whatever the hell mm-hmm. it was called back then. <laughs> anyway, that was seven yeah, years ago. Cinematic 360. Whatever it was. Yeah, it's, it's the current trip report, not that one. Yeah. Um. Yes. The, yeah, so that's Tracy point. It started to rain at that point. So we jumped in the park and we ended up meeting up with Andy and Thomas and Lynette and their friend Mike. Oh, and of lovely. course, headed into... Well, we did School Island because, again, the park was open till 10 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Islands of Adventure was open till 10 o'clock that night. And you know how much I complain that we never get in those parks after dark. So to, yeah. to get into Islands of Adventure for about three hours after the sun gone, went down was awesome. Oh, yeah. It was lovely. We rode Kong, which is so much better in the dark. Was that your first time or no? No, second. The last trip you did it. Yeah. Okay. That was second time. We only did it once last time. Oh yeah. To be honest, it doesn't seem that long between trips, so we kind of both it. melding into one. Did, did you do the outside track? Yes. No. So it you was not really. night. It was no, we didn't. The day. Yes, that's right. Oh, we didn't. Man, that sucks. Yeah, because like at nighttime, obviously with the fires going on, yeah, mm-hmm. it's just so cool walking in there or driving in there. I think we've only yeah. actually done the outside once, maybe twice. We did it. That was the ride we rode, I think, the most this trip, apart from maybe Men in Black. That might have been twice. But it was daytime both times. Yeah. And then, of course, we headed into Hogsmeade because I needed my mm. fix. Waterworks. Oh, I love hot butter beer so much. <laughs> Darren, nope. I know you're not a fan. Chris, I don't think I know your opinion on it. Um, I don't really drink it, but that's because I don't drink like any anything that's hot so like okay. coffee tea any of that but that is alexa's favorite so she always gets it and then i'll have a sip like 20 minutes later once it's cooled off <laughs> so yeah it's 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 okay for me i prefer uh, the uh frozen well i had three in the course uh, of a week but actually the, the second first one. two sips are okay the rest of it tastes like cup <laughs> <laughs> yes no it doesn't it does that's the no, car- it doesn't. that's where the cardboard flavor comes from i love it yeah so much weirdo yeah, I don't know. If I'm forced to drink something hot, it's got to at least have caffeine in it. Yep. I would I would actually like a caffeinated like butterbeer latte. Like if they could do something like that and take the edge off of the sweetness, maybe that might be a little better for me. I don't actually think it's that sweet. Oh, hmm. hang on. Yeah, like a butterbeer latte. Hello. Yeah. It's about time to come with a new butterbeer offering as well. See, yeah. th- that is now going to be in the parks in six months time. Like everything Good. else I we've hope mentioned. So. <laughs> <laughs> I will we'll send uh, the royalty checks to UUOP. 
<laughs> they won't. They steal our ideas all the time. Fudge. Still did it better. Um, and that was that was the night we met Phil Lewis, one of the Producers Club members. And oh, that listeners. was brilliant. That was a highlight. He'd just come Definitely. over on the Hogwarts Express from Universal. And, and how do I know that? Because he had about three... He looked like Mr. T of, with Mardi Gras beads on. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> His birthday, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Was yeah. it that day? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Um, that was awesome. And then while we were looking at that, obviously we knew, I think that was about nine o'clock. So we pulled, me and Andy were talking, we pulled the pulled my phone out and looked at the app. And the wait for Hagrid at that point was a 75 minute wait. And I was like, the general rule of thumb is it's half the standby wait time. So we'll probably wait 40 minutes. So I went, bugger it, let's just jump in. Because it yeah. was Jade's first ride mm-hmm. at like nine o'clock. So by the time, I think we waited about 50 minutes in the end. So we got on yeah, it. Yes, it broke down, didn't it? We got on it at 10 o'clock. Nice. So it was pitch black. Oh, so man. So good. Andy and I got front row. What? He uh, graciously let me have the motorbike because he knew I hadn't done it. Oh, man. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, the man. front row is a completely different ride. Yeah, we've always been at the back. Yeah, we've ridden. that spike before the backwards portion is so yes. different in the front. Yeah. You feel like you're going much higher than you really are. I just yeah. wish it was enclosed like it was supposed to be. Yeah, it would have been cool. But at mm. night, it doesn't matter as much. No. But what I like about riding it in the dark is that forbidden forest section. So when you're going backwards through with the centaurs and then into the devil's snare, it feels more like the forbidden forest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. True. But it definitely ramps the speed up when it's dark. Who it just doesn't like that? You can't come off it without a smile on your face. No. It's just, no. it's not extreme. But it's got enough thrills that it gives you enough, but you just come off it with a huge grin on your face. What did Jade oh, think yeah. of it, actually? She never actually said. She didn't say a lot, to be fair. 15 year olds. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Excited. I don't think I heard her say it. anything, actually. No, <laughs> now that she... I think back on it. No, we did. We had plenty. Oh, yeah. She said a lot when everyone else wasn't about. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> I think she enjoyed it. Because she had her first pumpkin juice that night as well, didn't she? Yeah. Did you ask her yesterday what she thought of that? Yeah, and she went, it was all right. It's about as much as you get out of her. Because <laughs> she doesn't like butter beer, does she? No, I kept trying to get to try my my hot one, and she wouldn't have it because I don't like butter beer. And I was like, this doesn't taste like the others. Try it. And she's like, no, no, no. <laughs> yes. Just want to quickly defend Hollywood Drive-In Golf. Uh, one round there is $17. Uh, plus, you can use your AP discount to make that a little cheaper. Uh, Congo River Rapids Golf. Like right down the street from that is fourteen dollars. Okay. okay, so so it's not that far no. off. No, yeah, it's just when you add it all together for three of us, fifty like fifty dollars well, yeah. sounds yeah. a lot of money. Yeah, overall, I think uh, I think it goes without saying that mini golf is a little too overpriced now <laughs> for what it <laughs> yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, and it's one of those things we talk about because we've got one we go to up the road from us, and it's like the better you are, the less value for money you Absolutely. get. Absolutely, took a while to <laughs> work that out. The, go through all of them. If you, yeah. yeah, if you hole in one or two, every one, you're like, oh, I'm done now. Uh, I need an annual pass here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pro. Um, but yeah, and then right. we got, we walked out of Hogsmeade that night and there was nobody around. So Hogsmeade it it was at amazing. night with nobody around. <sighs> it was a dream come true. I took so many pictures walking through Hogsmeade coming out yeah. and like of um, Zeus Landing and, and the Lost Continent. I forget... My love of Islands of Adventures waned quite a bit because I think it's just, it's very stagnant. It's yes. very much the same park it was 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. But when you go through it at that time of night and it's quiet, you'd still realize how stunning a park mm-hmm. it is. And mm-hmm. at night and when it's rained. Yeah, definitely. Because you get all that extra reflection. Absolutely oh, gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. I got some beautiful shots of. Uh, Part of entry. Oh yeah! Wow. Mm. But you know, but you know, I could spend all day photographing that area anyway. <laughs> it's so. just such a beautiful park. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, it, and looking across the lake in any direction, really. Well, they got yeah. the Jurassic Park construction happening yeah. right now. But when that's in full swing, mm-hmm. when that's going, and then you've got when if you're in Seuss Landing and you look over and you see uh, the superhero island that just looks amazing at night with the neon. And you look over the other direction and you see like, you know, mythos and everything, yeah. you know, you've got this like, um, you know, like stonework and, and fire lit island on that side. It's just, it's very cool. It really see. is. 
It just mm-hmm. as a theme park now, it just it needs it needs some love desperately. It really does. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Again, we okay. spent a lot of time in islands, but didn't we didn't ride a lot again over the course of the week we were there. It was quite busy actually. I it think was we said busy. it when we did our our recording through the week. It was a lot busier than I expected it to be. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's why seventy five minutes to go on Hagrid, it was like, right, just get on it. Yeah. Because <laughs> I think at one point, I think on the Thursday it was up to something like 240 minutes. Ooh. Yeah, I was like, hell yeah, no. Getting on that. no. Um so yeah, then Monday we went to SeaWorld. So Tuesday we was our first full day there. Mm-hmm. Um and we kind of well, we talked about it in depth when we did when we did our two weeks ago when we did our recording while we were there. Mm-hmm. But I want to discuss it with you two at this point. So we tried all the tots. Yeah, I just want. Oh, can, yeah. I, can I just step back a second? Mm-hmm. I know it's I know it's Sea World, but I just wanted to say we had a lovely a lovely lunch and, a, a, and time with Tyler and Jessica. Oh yes, I love those two. I just wanted to give them a shout the out. The restaurant sure. at the back of that park. Oh, oh impressed. It's so good. Yes. Anyway, yeah. sorry. I just wanted to say hey to them. So you guys oh. tried all of them, didn't you? Except Maybe. for the s'mores. Yeah. thing. Yeah. Between four of you. Yeah. So we effectively yeah. tried all four of them. Effectively, between two of us. Yeah, because you know, vegetarian child. So she got the green eggs the and green ham eggs. without the ham, <laughs> and had about half of it. So yeah. we had the other half of that between us. Yeah. Then the pizza, the hoo hash, and the buffalo chicken. Mm-hmm. Hmm. <laughs> that was a lot of food, and I like my tots. So which is is <laughs> which is the one? It's difficult because I think we kind of sickened ourselves yeah. off. It's very rich. Yeah. Yes. So, like the first couple of bites, they were like, oh my God, the pizza tots are amazing. And that yeah. buffalo chicken is out of this world. Yeah. Then when you've had three or four mouthfuls of each and you've had a couple of mouthfuls of hoo hash and a couple of mouthfuls of the green eggs, you're like, I've had far too much of everything. Oh, right hang now. on, hang on. That's a bit overboard. We did eat it all. Did we actually yes, finish it? Yes, we finished lot? it because I would not have walked out leaving food. I felt very <laughs> sick by the end of it, but I made damn <laughs> sure that we ate it all. I did eat a lot. I think I ate most of the pizza tots. Because mm-hmm. I can't remember what you yeah. two thought of them now. Obviously, now we've tried them, your opinion makes a bit more sense to us. Yeah. So well, the, bu- the buffalo chicken, I think we kind of agreed was the best, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah Hold on. And then um, I did not like the hoo hash at all. Me either. There was nothing to it. It was just kind of bland and not very it's good quality the, meat. It's, yeah, everything goes to the bottom of the can. I so. see. We, we, oh, got, we got it, it out of the plate. can. Was that? Oh yeah. That's the one with the corned beef in it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. even remember it to be honest. And that corned beef looks like ham. Yeah. I just sat there and listened to everybody go. Is this? What is this? Is this ham? Like <laughs> it was so funny. Like sitting there, like watching everybody try it and go, "What is this thing? I don't know." <laughs> But yeah, um, and then uh, the other ones like the uh, green eggs and ham. Obviously, I'm not into it at all. I do, I do not like ham. Mm. Not a fan. So I don't think I would like that one. I didn't even try that. Did we try that one actually? I thought you did. I thought you got them all. Are you talking about the hash? No, no, the, no green the green eggs and ham. and ham one. No, we never got. I mean, when we had it. Yeah. No, we no, didn't, you get didn't. it. Okay. Oh yeah, so we are. Now. We haven't tried. That's right. So you only had three portions between four of you. We really went above and beyond. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really should have put on more weight than I did. I got away with that. But I'll give Alexa a due. I had a conversation with Alexa after you and Alexa tried them for the first time, Chris. Mm-hmm. And she said her biggest issue was th- the service. Not that it was like nothing against oh, the people man, working yeah. in there. It was just because they only had like one person ordering, one person plating up one person cooking. So we got the first one. I think we got the who hash first. And then it was a good 10 minutes before we got another one. Yeah. yeah. But it is oddly not... slow yeah. to get your food there when they're just pumping out tater tots. Yeah. So I feel like that's something they should be able to pump out quickly. Yeah. And then like my biggest complaint about that spot is if you're there at the right time of day, and you're standing in line to order. Yeah, I know you're going to say it. It feels like a magnifying glass yeah, mm-hmm. is right above you and just destroying your body with Florida's beautiful sun. Yeah. 
So they got to add some shade or something in there. Yeah. That's kind of my only gripe. Like we literally took turns kind of getting in and out of the sun mm -hmm. when we were in line. But uh, yeah, aside from that. Eh, I, yeah, I know it's the novelty of the stand and all, but it's just not set up for high traffic. No, like no, that. It's, no. So I no. think, unfortunately, they have to move that stuff over to Circus McGurgus just so that they can pump it out faster. Maybe. Uh, maybe put something interesting on their menu and then <laughs> use green eggs and ham for something else. Because that's it. We took your advice and that's what we did. We grabbed all ours and we went and sat in Circus McGurgus. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe offer them in both places. Yeah, I was just going to say, I'll, I'll do it in both. Road. Like they do with the butter beer. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the other issue too is like the seating, right? There's mm -hmm. about three or four tables out there so it makes it a little hard yeah. to, to get a spot to eat. So mm -hmm. I think um, most people just take it over to Circus. Yeah, I agree. I think it needs to be open, but you've got to, I think, to to give people a reason to go into Circus with Gurkhas because there is no other reason. The food in there is horrendous. Yeah. But it's a cool, <laughs> I love, again, I love sitting in there because mm -hmm. you've got the interaction of the Zeus Trolley train yeah. ride coming through and you can wave at all the miserable <laughs> that don't wave back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they're eating the food there. Um, but, yeah, I enjoyed them. I would definitely, I would definitely I would have, have them again. again. Personally, I think one portion of one is enough for two people. Yeah. 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 Four yeah. portions was definitely the too trade, much for two people. The trays are also deceptive, let me say. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because they put that one on the bottom for like no reason that's like, yeah. tw that's like twice as deep as the actual pie tin that it's in. Mm -hmm. So I'd also yeah. say it's, it's enough for two people if you're there for more tater tots than anything else. Yes. But like the buffalo chicken, like I wish it was more chicken just because it, yeah, it's awesome. I, I love it. I don't actually remember getting any chicken, I'll be honest. Mm. I'm not yeah. saying there was like a big portion and we were full. It's just it, it's the it sauce rich. and stuff was rich and yeah, it's a yeah. lot. I would get the pizza tots again, but without the pepperoni. Because I don't like pepperoni. What, margarita pizza? Have you not heard of that? Just take them on the side, give them to me. They give them to me? What do you think you're getting them for? <laughs> but yeah, the buffalo Paper chicken scissors. I liked. But again, I'll fight you for it. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's each to their own. If that's what you want, margarita pizza tots, whatever. Yeah. Then they do um, margarita uh, pesto. Pesto. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. annual pasta the ones. They were awesome. Yeah. yeah. Do something like that in tots. Yeah. So there you go. Doing them when we were no, there. That sounds good. Yes. We need. Why do we not have tots over here? I nearly fell over when I got the when she was like, right, that'll be like fifty-five dollars or whatever it was. And I'm like, Christ, they're only tater tots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, you know, you've got all four, right? Yeah, okay. Yep. <laughs> Could have had a round of golf for that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> ba -bum -bum yeah. Nice. Um Yeah, we milled around. We we uh, yeah, we finished them, didn't we? And then we went over to the studios pretty much for Mardi mm -hmm. Gras at that point. I had a butterbeer ice cream. I had lots of but, uh, butterbeer over the course of the week with there. Three hot, a frozen, and an ice cream. Yeah. Um, I'm going to leave Mardi Gras till later. As I say, end on a positive. Um, <laughs> that night, after the parade, we went and saw the cinematic celebration. I keep trying to remember. The way I remember what it's called is it's the one that l makes the least amount of sense. Because the original one should have been Celebration, and it wasn't. It was spectacular, and this one's Celebration. Okay. <laughs> Darren, have you seen it? Yes. Uh, only on video. Right. Chris? Yes. Right. So, I think, Darren, if I was you, I wouldn't bother. <laughs> yeah. That makes me say, it sounds like I'm saying it's crap. It's not. It's the problem not. is... You're potentially... Well, no, you're not. You would go into it the same as me and Tracy did. Unfortunately, we saw Marathon of Mayhem first. Yeah. Yeah. Which was stellar. And it pales in comparison. It's to, still really good. It is. I still loved it. I, I but, did it the other way, and I really, really enjoyed that yes. show. Yes. But you're... I mean, it's obviously Marathon was better. Yes. But as a show overall, um, they still... They got me with the music, obviously. Um, there's some scenes in there that I'm like, ah, whatever, I don't really care for this, but overall it was pretty good. I liked it. It is, but like you say, it's when it's like I've always said, Gring if Gringotts had come first, I think everyone would have it would have got much better reviews. Uh -huh. But the fact that it came after Gring uh, uh, after, after Forbidden Fin Journey, it didn't. And I think this is the same. The mm -hmm. projections weren't as clear. Um 
and it just you could you could tell it was the first iteration of what Marathon of Mayhem became. Yeah. Don't forget with Marathon Marathon Mayhem as well. You're in the thick of everything that you were then seeing projected. So it was very more very emotional tie because you'd literally just experienced all of that True. stuff. Yeah. I didn't have Darren so. squeezing my arm watching cinematic celebration. Well, I could have done that for you. It's not the yeah. same. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I just don't think they focused on enough of the right things for the cinematic show. There's um, a lot of trolls in it. Yes. A lot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think they should have focused more on attractions that were there that aren't there anymore, you know, yeah. pay more homage to, you know, Alfred Hitchcock, that kind uh-huh. of thing. Even uh, Hanna-Barbera characters would be cool. Yeah. You know, have them interact with the current things like the minions and whatnot. And, you know, when you can do that animation wise. But that's um, it. You look at what they're doing, though, that they, they don't want to they don't want to promote that stuff. They want to promote what's in the parks now and what's coming. So I kind of get it. Yeah. And at least they yeah. are doing something. But, we have a nighttime show. True. You know. Yeah. Mm. Come on. We like retro. That's what we do. Yeah. I, I'm sure I heard rumors that we might get a Christmas one this year. Ooh. That'd be cool. I can't remember where I heard that or I might have dreamt it, but anyway. <laughs> but it'll happen well, now. Universal, make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> do they have enough Christmas stuff or is it just going to be like footage from the parade, like <laughs> broadcast the again on the water? And the Grinch hey, and if, stuff? They can get, yeah. if they can just get... Uh, Jim Carrey to reprise his role and just do a whole 15 minutes. I'm, I'm down to watch that. Agreed. Yeah. Um, so to top off that night, as I say, we were going to go and do mini golf and we didn't. Anyway, we jumped, we jumped into Voodoo Donut before that point. I have thoughts on Voodoo Donut. Uh-huh. Mm, me too. So we got, Tracy, you got the orange sickle? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Jade got Which I've the wanted forever. little pink. Yes, she did. And I got the grape ape. Mm-hmm. And I have come to the conclusion. We've got two other things as well. And I will get to them. Okay. Well, we will get to them. Let's start with the more positive of the two. Okay. This is positive. Okay. I don't think voodoo donuts all that. What? Mm. I'm a little disappointed with it. Maybe it's just a bad choice. I like grape. The grape ape was nice, but by the end of it, I was like, I'm done with this now. Yeah, the grape ape is just fun dip on a donut. Yeah. Yeah. It's just pure sugar. Mm. I I don't, yeah. When everybody was like going crazy over it, I never really got it. That's why I got it, because I'd had a little bit of it before, and I remember it being nice and everyone raving about it. So I thought, no, I'll get that. I think that was it. The, The little bit I had when we had them for breakfast. Yeah. That was I like, oh, I could eat more of this. And then it turns out that, no. You can't. I probably no. couldn't. I mean, I didn't even have that one, but <laughs> I had. I had one that I wanted since it came out. <laughs> and? Wish I hadn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. Disappointment. The orange sickle. Really? Yeah. Um, I had to basically concentrate to find any sort of orange flavor it felt like mm-hmm. it was all stick yeah mm, that's weird and yeah, it was it just to be a bad batch it was just flavorless yeah you said it wasn't very orangey which no. i would expect it to be very orangey i didn't try any she didn't give me any no didn't like the, any the orange icing is not really orange flavored no? that that much it's very just sugary <laughs> mm. i wouldn't like even a say bavarian it was cream donut with sugar on it right yeah. well even the bavarian cream didn't have much flavor. It was just meh. Yeah. So I was I was disappointed. But there are still others that I want to go and try. Oh yeah. Mm. So you know. Well, I gotta say, I like everything. <laughs> Darren, you got uh, a ton of them the other week, so yes. Yeah, <laughs> Nina recently went up there and got some for us, and I, I don't know. I, I don't know if the quality has gone down or if I just got tired of them or what, but. Um, yeah, I wasn't too into the ones we got either. Even like the ones I really liked last time, like the Memphis Mafia one and those. Mm-hmm. Like that was still probably my favorite out of the bunch, but uh, still was not a big fan of it. Tried the uh, Mexican hot chocolate one uh, just for something different that has like the chili on it. Uh, and it really just tasted like chili. It didn't taste like hot chocolate at all. <laughs> like, okay. ooh, I don't know. They're just like, uh, I don't know. They're They're going off of like, 
the interesting like combinations they have, but I don't think that like they're putting together like a quality product no. so much. Do you think it's because it's because it's become so successful? I mean, I'll be honest, when we got there and it was what, nine o'clock and we were having so the queue was out of the door and we were kind of down a little side alley at the back of uh, NBC Sports Grill and Brew, queuing that way uh-huh. to get yeah. in. And we were probably stood outside for a good 10 or 15 minutes before we actually even got into mm-hmm. the shop itself. Yeah. Operationally, it does not go very smooth there. And I don't like the fact that you go to someone, you order all your donuts, and then you go to the place where you pick them up, and then they tell you that they don't have yeah. half of them. And really? That, that, that is already, annoying. Yes, after you've paid for them and everything. And that that's a real pain. Because, yeah, you can go to like another uh, register and get a refund. You can go stand in the refund that, line. But, should, but, yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah, you said what? that last week, didn't you? Don't uh, yeah, well, yep. I was there, was I? Yeah. So. Well, that's stupid. Just it, Surely, as well, operationally, it's just quicker to have one person box your order up and take and then, it to the register. And then go to the register and pay for it. Yeah. Like, if they were doing it backwards, it, it didn't make any sense. And they used no. to have a pass holder line, and that just vanished. I don't know. Because I didn't that's... see that running at any point. So Okay, no. that's crazy. So I, I'm going to play on the other side of this team real quick. Oh, I actually whatever. enjoy Voodoo Donuts. So... I don't know. It's not the best thing in the world, but I think they give a, a good variety of flavors and, you know, they have well, something for everybody. I still haven't tried enough, I think I'll say. You also like the Bayliner Diner, Chris, so... Hey, we'll get onto that Don't later. We're not there yet. That breakfast, my friend. <laughs> We're not there yet. <laughs> That's breakfast. Let's, let's, All right. let's get this negativity out of the way. We tried the Canolos. Ah... Wow, you saw the famed lost canolo. <laughs> so I went in, I went, right, can I have three of the canolos, please? And she's like, no, there's only two. Uh, mm. I said, why do you never have all of them? Because they're so popular. I was like, okay. So I'd uh, like the two you've got then, please. Now, as we talked about them on the show. There's supposed to be a raspberry one, mm-hmm. an almond one. Yep. And someone remind me what the other one is. I thought it was chocolate. Was it Pumpkin. Mm. All I think seasonally it was pumpkin, and then it was something yeah. Christmas, wasn't it? Right. We got the almond one and an apple one, which I didn't even know existed. Hmm. So we chopped them into three, and all mm. three of us tried a bit of each. Aha. Uh-huh. And? Mm. They were not nice. <laughs> it was so synthetic. The almond one was disgusting. Oh no! That was and they were expensive. Vile. You think how much? What the average voodoo donut? Like three twenty-five, three fifty. So the same, yeah. same price, but like way smaller. Like three, it, we chopped them into three, and you got barely a mouthful. Oh yeah, okay. mm. they were not pleasant. And the apple was. It was synthetic. I I love yeah, apple filling. Yeah, but was, even the apple was like. Yeah, it was synthetic apple. Would you compare them to those apple chips you had during Horror Nights? Oh, good God, no. Nothing could ever compare to It wasn't Horror Nights. That was uh, lunchtime at uh, Fast Food Boulevard. Why did you have to remind me of that, Chris? I used to like you. I couldn't stop eating them, though. Just in case. I wouldn't recommend them. Yeah, no, well, I tried to get them. I tried to get them on the trip, too, but I only answered two of the three riddles correctly, so I wasn't allowed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah they, were, they weren't good. Like not yeah. even like the pastry itself wasn't even something that it was just yeah they would. It was it was a rolled donut. It doesn't such work. Such a shame because I love the too, idea. It was too soggy. Them. It was yeah. too soggy. Kind of want to try it now just to see how oh, bad absolutely. they are. Absolutely, yeah. I'm well, going back to the big pink. Those things are awesome every time. <laughs> By I, the way, did anybody get your uh, name that donut, Darren, and the no. producers club? Sonia got closest. I think she she guessed the most of them right, but no, it wasn't the biggest as big of a hit as I thought it would be. So <laughs> we should put it on the main page and see it get everyone involved. Yes. Well, now that Chris mentioned it on the show, we have to. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's true. So the winner gets a coffin. Yes, I got a macro lens. So I took up close <laughs> pictures of some voodoo donuts. So name them all right, and you'll get a voodoo donut eventually sent to you. Maybe <laughs> if you ever have those. Look, we did um, our second producers club giveaway, which was a born bottle and a limited edition pin. That, that still sat behind me, and it's supposed to, it was supposed to get posted like two weekends ago. Well, Sorry, Julie, it, by the way. It, you will get it. It's just getting... I don't want to send to, coronavirus. Well, no, it's also being able to get into buy the packaging. Yeah. Because... 
Anyway, yeah. right. So, yeah, we're going to take a quick break and hear from our good friends over at Mouse and Muggle, and we'll be back to talk about some more stuff. Have you taken a stroll down Diagon Alley and visited Gringotts Bank? Taken a ride through New York with Jimmy Fallon? Visited the Truffler Trees and Zeus Landing or hung out with a real-life Transformer? No? Then what are you waiting for? A Universal Orlando Resort that truly is an option for everyone. Or if you're leaning a little more towards pixie dust rather than wands and potions, Disney destinations around the globe await your arrival. No matter the adventure, our sponsors have you covered. Be sure to let the experts at Mouse and Muggle Travel Company take care of all your travel needs. Earning the distinction of being an earmarked agency specializing in Disney destinations as well as becoming one of the first to be named a You Preferred Agency with Universal Parks and Resorts Vacations. Mouse and Muggle Travel Company will ensure you receive top rate customized service. Just visit mouseandmuggle.com to fill out a non obligation quote request or send your request to info at mouseandmuggle.com. Their team can take care of you no matter where in the world you go. With a flick of their wand and a little bit of pixie dust, the process will be so seamless. Some might even say it's simply magical. Welcome back, everyone. I'm going to move on to Thursday at this point. We've still got a lot to cover, actually, at this point. So, full disclosure, what we're going to talk about next is Cabana Bay. Um, And again, like I say, full disclosure. Thank you very much, Universal Orlando, for giving Darren two free nights. Giving uh-huh. Tracy and I a family suite free for the night, and for giving Chris and Alexa a free room for the night, and Michelle and Chris. Yeah. Why? Wow. Yeah. And Darren, Darren swapped rooms with us. We got the <laughs> car park view, and yeah. he got the decent view this time. <laughs> yes, I, I could not have had like a better view, location, room location, and Excellent. like parking situation. I, I will agree with you hundred percent on that. I was very close to Darren, and that was a great spot. Perfect. Yeah, it is the best place to be at, at Command Bay because we were like right by the diner. Like the, we we're on the seventh floor. So you got like an awesome view. And then you could go down elevators that were right outside the uh, right outside our room and then go out to the like car park area that's right outside, like literally maybe 20 steps away is where we were parked most of the time. So like and we had Bayliner as well. Yeah. And the, you know, the beautiful Bayliner diner that was just amazing. Well, we were yeah. we were like what a f- three or four minute walk from the lobby from where oh, we yeah. were around the pool. Yeah, we were just, it's just we're so different. One, weren't we? <laughs> so different than that first visit that yeah. I had when I was like eight miles away and I got <laughs> the uh, freestyle cup and you know like I used it one time because yeah. I was like I'm not walking all the way again. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we had a family suite. And kind of like we discussed last week with the endless summer ones, they don't work for me as a family suite. Family suite, you've got to be a very close family. I know, because we talked about it when we talked about the dockside last week, didn't we, Darren and Chris, how we felt that they work much better as a family suite than the Cabana Bay ones do. Yeah. Because you've got a separate room for the adults in the endless summer ones, whereas Cabana Bay... Don't, the, the separate room is the living room with a pull-out sofa. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a half wall as well, separating Mm. them two. That was a beautiful yeah. room. Oh, it was Sorry. lovely. Apart from the fact that the living room light didn't work and the cistern on the toilet kept filling up every five minutes. But uh, that's just, it's one of those things. I'm not going to complain no, about no. the hotel because of that. No, it's no. just one of those things that... I mean, they were quite surprised that when we, when I checked out, rather than just doing the quick checkout, I got in line and I let them know there was a problem with the Because that's the problem. The I don't know how many people don't mention so, things like well, that. Well, this is it. And if, you know, the next family could have had young children and then got no sleep at all. So, mm-hmm. it's just the right thing to do. It's just yeah. that 1950s charm. They leave that Absolutely. away on purpose. <laughs> I was yeah. actually quite surprised at the lack of USB ports mm. for charging things. I know it's supposed to be like retro. But USB didn't exist back then, my friend. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we had two, and they were both in the kitchen. So they were no good for like charging your phone while you were asleep. Well, it were if you didn't want an alarm. But I like mm. Cabana Bay. I wanted to stay there. I'd stay yeah. there again. Oh, yeah. Is there somewhere yeah. else I would like to stay above Cabana Bay at this point that's in the same category? Uh, yes. yes. We'll get to that in a minute. To be honest, Ooh. we need to, we need to stay in all of them. Well, we're going to. You know. We're going to cross another two off our list next year, hopefully. Good. Um, but moving on to Chris's favourite place, we did go for breakfast twice, actually, at the Bay Line Diner. I preferred one over the other. Go on then, Chris. Why do you like it so much? Because... No, uh, I, I know what you guys are saying. This time was not the best, right? Um, I don't know. I like it. It's quick. Mm-hmm. It's tasty. Mm-hmm. 
This time, not so much. But I think for me, know. I was in too much of a rush. So it wasn't a case I didn't have a proper look round to get something because I'm like, I don't really want to spend time here. I want to be in the park. So I was kind of like rushing about because I had the breakfast burrito two days running. Did you? Which I really enjoyed. But... Do you know what, Lee? No, he, he complains that Jade doesn't try new things. And yet there's been a few things where he's had the same things over and over, not tried anything in new. In fairness, for the second one, I was getting on the bus, so I needed something that was easy yeah, to Yeah, but then we found the out that we could have got... <laughs> we all know what oh, that yeah, is. Michelle got bloody bring... Yeah, exactly. If I'd known that, I'd have sat with me full breakfast on my knee. It's all right. <laughs> Darren, have you eaten there? Yeah, I did this time. <laughs> okay. On Based on uh, rave review, um, I got the breakfast and... We, we actually, we brought it back to the room because we had a little bit extra time there. So we went up, back up to the room with it. And by the time we were back up to the room, it was like ice cold. Mm. It was already pretty cold when we were so, down there. Yeah, I was going to tell you, we ate it there yeah. and it was cold. Okay. A little bit. Oh, okay. Really? No, yeah. mine was red hot and we'd wandered around. Ooh, mm. Yeah. Everything we got was not. And like, and Nina said they had like just put the potatoes out yeah. as she was walking up. And those were the coldest things. Like they literally really? just like put it. They overpile them in a skillet, and so like only the bottom part gets cooked. There's no way that they can do the top without everything falling out. So, and then they throw off the top. It's crazy. The woman who served me, she kept turning the potatoes. Oh well, the one this one just completely filled the thing yeah. up like double. <laughs> she, there was she was no way. the top. She was really the ones helpful. The top were cold because I because mm-hmm. I'd looked. It was like potatoes with uh, potatoes. It was pancakes with bacon, but I can't eat bacon. So I was kind no. of like, oh well, I want a side order of. Um, potatoes. And she said, "Oh, you can, it, no, no, she, it works like this." And she explained. Took a time, even though it was a big queue, to explain that I could just swap out the bacon for potatoes. So, I yeah. pancakes and potatoes. I was very happy. No, yeah. the cool, the best thing about that place is the dining room. Yes, because it's like it feels like you're in like the Men in Black dining room. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> it does. <laughs> Yeah, I love uh, the I love the lobby. The lo- I spent when uh, when Tracy was checking out on Friday morning, I spent uh, like a good five or ten minutes just taking pictures uh-huh. of the lobby. The lobby's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. And again, I'm going to say because I know you mentioned it as well, Darren, that the credit card machines were down when we checked in, and yet it still went so quickly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. That's pretty fast over there normally. Yeah, they are pros. So they're and they were so courteous and nice, even though you can tell that they were like stressed by having yes. what they were having to do <laughs> on their end. You know. Um, but they were still so nice and everything. So yeah, I made sure to give them a shout out and yeah. highly recommend everybody does that as well. The only thing I will say was when I was checking out, there was quite a line behind me and the chap in front of me wasn't very happy because we were stood there for quite some time and there was five members of staff on checking, you know, checking people in and out and they were just chit chatted and we could hear the conversations and it okay. wasn't, it wasn't the customer who was chatting. We heard the staff instigate new parts of conversation and there was quite a line but that's the only thing I can say you know they were all very fr- very friendly and very helpful oh yeah they were brilliant yeah you know, the staff had, always you guys, are yeah uh, I was asked did you guys get a chance to go around the pool area we walked around it every time we went to the lobby so yeah twice <laughs> no, I, I did I more looked, than that I looked down on it from my estate in the sky <laughs> <laughs> I would stay there again though it looked lovely so would I but and the shop was closed by the time we got back and I wanted stuff. I'm looking at the time. I don't think we're going to get to Mardi Gras on okay. this episode. I think we'll knock it back and okay. do a full show because um, there's still a lot to talk about. Yeah, there is. So, yeah. talking about Cabana Bear and I would like to stay there, but there's somewhere else I would like to yes. stay even more. Um, we went to Sapphire Falls for our little mini meet that yes. night in Strongwater Tavern and just the little wander round of Sapphire Falls that we did. That hotel Beautiful. is gorgeous. Yes. I want to stay there. In fact, Tracy and I have talked, we're probably going to stay there when we come over for the weekend of next year. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know your experience of it, Darren, wasn't great. I know. Uh, But even even that, notwithstanding, like the rooms, uh, Cabana Bay's rooms are more impressive to me, personally. It's like Cabana Bay without the charm in, in the rooms in the rooms the lobby yeah. is beautiful it's yeah. gorgeous that that that's when you get off the water taxis and you come up that stone spiral staircase it's such an impressive mm-hmm. entrance and then mm-hmm. you walk out into that lobby area with that huge big like beach ball type oh, thing. It's, yeah. uh, it's absolutely stunning it's like good dry humor and then like 
Aventura over there is like Ben Stein. Like <laughs> those are our levels. <laughs> like Vanavis, like I have no actually idea. Comedian. Right. <laughs> I I like it. I you know each to their own. Chris, I know you and Alexa really like it. Yeah, yeah. We we went there when they had first open, and it was like our anniversary or something. So it kind of worked out. And you know we just fell in love with the place. Obviously, Strong Water, which we're going to talk about now. We love that spot. And then you know it's nothing like like Darren was saying. The rooms aren't like this spectacular thing, um, but we liked it a lot. And we also spent a significant amount of time in the pool area, which is uh, also we love it uh, because it has like a different setup where it's a lot of shallow areas there. It's a lot less hectic than let's say Cabana Bay. Um, it's more of a relaxation kind of pool and it's huge um so yeah we we'd like going there we try to stay there whenever we can i did like strong water tavern apart from your food was cat. i was gonna say but i wouldn't eat there again so i had well that no food... you could do it just because what you had i had the wagyu beef sliders and they were amazing hmm. what did you have again tracy Chicken uh, fingers. Basically, looked like dog on a plate. <laughs> it, was, it was chicken fingers, oh. and but it was I agree. Chicken, buttermilk chicken fingers. It was so salty and so much celery salt. And did you complain that, though? I was too busy seeing it. Me. <sighs> Don't ever trust a bartender. Oh my god! She was hammered by the time. I we wasn't were, hammered. I won't tell you what happened when we got back in the room, but you I made Jade know. laugh. Um, I wasn't hammered. I was just. Nicely, but I agree with what Darren said about it is expensive. We had, yes, I had the Wagyu beef sliders, you had the chicken fingers. Jade just had chicken a portion fingers of with three wedges, fries. Three. You had two alcoholic drinks, Jade I and I had a cork each, and it came to $75. Yeah, mm. yeah, it's like a little over a putt putt. And if it, it was a good job, Chris was there because I was going to tip again, and it was already on it. Mm. Uh, oh. I did break a glass, yes, that you smashed Seth. I know. I don't even know how that happened. Cheers. Yeah. It wasn't a hard tap or anything. Yeah. <laughs> and Darren and, and Nina got surprised. And then I was so yeah, and I was gonna oh, say I was so hungry at the end I chugged a cupcake. Yes. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh man, that was awesome. So yeah, definitely. Thank you. I just want to say real quick too, when we brought this up, thank you to Michelle uh for setting all that up. Um and then thank you to uh Brittany for making those cupcakes. By hand, that's amazing. <laughs> yes, cupcakes were amazing. Yeah, and her and Jack coming up for it and everything yeah. too. Just, thank, thank you guys so much. Um, it meant it definitely meant a lot to us. We don't have a lot of you know friends and stuff like that, so so having a little party, little celebration like that there Aww. really meant a lot. So thank Aww. you, thank you. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. The beauty of Uruzzle, where oh, yeah. we were staying at Cabana Bay, it was like a three-minute run across the road to our hotel room, yeah. literally. Yeah, a run of death, yeah. <laughs> no, there was well, no cars yes, there when we did it. At that time of night, or probably 10%. Yeah, there was barely any traffic yeah, about. Nothing. Well, yeah, the way home was a little less dangerous than the way there. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, like we, we asked in the lobby of the other place, like, uh, how, do, how do we get over to the other hotel? And in the lobby, they were like, mm, well... <laughs> You have to take the bus to City Walk, and then you, really? you got to take you got to go from City Walk on one of the boats. Yeah, over no. Like, and then and like we're like okay, and then we walk out, and it's like you you, see, you hear like a bellhop like whistle at you like from like a, pl- a plant over on the side. He's like, hey, come here. You got five bucks. <laughs> yeah. You're like, yeah, and you give him the five dollars, and he's like, just run across the street. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's doing it. Yeah. Yeah, we but just do it fast if you're going to, because yeah. yeah, that light changes fast, and people are not expecting people to be running <laughs> across the street. Yeah, right. We've got a couple of big things to get to, but I want to get a negative one out of the way at that point. At this point, and that is, we went to Toothsome Chocolate Emporium and Savory Fee's <laughs> Kitchen on Friday night. Now, just getting that reservation turned out to be a bit of a <laughs> show because when Chris rang up to try and bring it forward, because the Friday was freezing, by the way, mm-hmm. and, oh, never uh, been so cold in my uh, life. They were like, "Oh, we've got a reservation for half eight. AM. And I was like, what? That was hilarious. But I'd yes. even clarified it with them when I booked it. Like, we've got it down for 8.30. If you want breakfast, I can advise. And like, no, no, of course we meant 8.30 PM. No problem. You're all booked in for nine of us. Mm-hmm. That aside, they're not open. they still had a reservation down for a time that they're not open. Exactly. Yeah. That's crazy. We should have shown up at eight in the morning just seeing yeah. what happened. Breakfast. Yeah. Um, <laughs> breakfast shake. It was all right. Mom was all right. I don't even remember what I had. I had the tuna past tuna 
toast. I don't even know what it was called. <laughs> Should have melt. Yeah, that'll be it. Yes. Darren, what did you have? I had good company is what I had. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Now let's tell that story. Um, yeah, I got the teriyaki burger because I don't know. I was just like, oh, we're at twosomes. I want something you know, sweet. Sweet and savory. There you go. What's more sweet and savory than a teriyaki burger? And man, was that disgusting. <laughs> like their their teriyaki and like the spice mix for the burger or something together was just not not working. And then on top of that, the bun was like completely stale to the point where like you just touched it and it crumbled away. See, that's, that's awful. Not good. Like, yeah. And they knew like you, you don't put that together without knowing how bad like the how about the state. Well, of that. yeah. Because they like had barely placed the top of the bun on there, like <laughs> that annoys uh, like, me. That really angers me. Yeah. So, and then our waiter was very not present. He uh, was. Oh, he was snarky with me. He was. We- yeah, I found him a little off, but I can't quite put my finger on what well, it was about him. When we were ordering drinks, I said, "Is there any possibility of me getting a black coffee?" I'm sorry. Oh yeah. I can't do black coffee. I said, "Oh." Okay. Does it come out of a machine? No. All of our presses are broken. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, what? All of your presses are broken. And then he proceeds to say, but I can do you an Americano without milk. I, so I, just, I just looked at him and I said, that's a black coffee. <laughs> but that was the second time I had that problem. Yeah. What was it? Tracy, what was the thing that we, I don't know if it was, you that wanted it or me was it like napkins we kept on asking oh, paper yeah. napkins <laughs> like every it came like five times and by the fifth one i'm like i never said it like in a bad way i'm like hey can we get some paper napkins he just looked at me he's like oh god that's all right i forgot yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah he was the entire just, time waiting for it he was so yeah. weird i yeah. do not remember what i had i know i wasn't impressed with the chocolate bread yeah that was that, that was not good either it no. was like holy really dense and, and it, was it, it was not like it was the first time I had it no, <laughs> at that, all. So. I don't know if they were having an off tachos. night. Uh, they were all right. Have, they just hated tots. Did I have soup? I honestly don't remember. Have? Fries. Because hmm, the vegetarian options were awful. Yeah. Um, yeah. Chris, what was it that you ordered? Did I get a burger? No, uh, The tachos. Tachos. We've just been oh. talking about. Oh, the tachos was the app, yeah. yeah. Um, they were good. Yeah. They were excellent. I love tachos. Yeah. Yeah. Um, however, there was one absolutely standout thing from there. Oh, yes. Penelope. She was amazing. Like, yes. improv mm-hmm. character. She was awesome. Yeah. It's That's like when she went, you could have dessert first, and she goes out, they want to cancel their food. <laughs> I don't think they're listening to me, you know. <laughs> she was brilliant. Yeah. She really was. And I wish, I said at the time, I wish they'd do that more. Not even necessarily on in City Walk, just in some of the other restaurants. They need to theme their restaurants more. Yeah. Yes, and she needs to teach improv classes for oh. the other characters. Yeah, she, she was great. She really yeah. was. Out of the whole weekend, she was the best character interaction. Yeah. Like at the entire park. Without and we, agree. we talked to a lot of characters, and like honestly, she was the best. So. And she spent a lot of time at our table because she came, spent a good two, three, four, five minutes there the first time, and then came back later on. Yeah, she was brilliant. Yeah, and remembered everything she talked about with our yeah. table after she did, walking yeah. around and talking to an entire dining room. So, but I don't know at this point whether I would want to give it a second chance. I wouldn't. Yeah. You can go. I'll go somewhere else. Maybe for shakes or something like that, just to go in and... I mean, I, I will say I wasn't in a particularly good mood at that point, so that probably plays into it a little bit, but yeah. there was nothing that made me... I don't know. I don't know. It was weird. It was just, yeah, a strange atmosphere in there. It didn't help that where we were sat as well. There was a hell of a draft coming up the stairs. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a weirdly laid out place. Yeah. it's a It's a great table, especially if you're like there, like, Lisa, like the time he likes around sunset, because mm-hmm. uh, that was the same yes. spot that that we went to the first time we went there, and we were there right around sunset, and the view from up there is yeah. just amazing, yeah. and everything. Uh, up next to that bar, like they got like the steampunk bar up there. It's really, honestly, a nicer view than the dining room downstairs, which you're just looking at some like like screens of gears and pipes and stuff, you yeah. know. <laughs> So you kind of want to be up there. That's the best. So you got the best view you could possibly get. And even then, it's just kind of like, eh. I think looking at it, looking at it from a different perspective, Tracy, 
I had French onion soup. I had to look it up. We've tried cowfish twice. And our first experience of cowfish was nowhere near as good as our first experience of toothsome. Yeah. No. And we True. gave that a second chance. Yeah. I mean, the service was off that night, 100%. Um, yeah. Me, Alex and I have been to Toothsome's a handful of times. I mean, we don't go there every time because we love Vivo, but <laughs> we will uh, we will make, you know, when we, when we get a chance, we'll go there. Uh, we've even, like, left the park during lunchtime to go to eat at Toothsome's because I can pay $15 for tots or I can pay $15 for an entire meal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, right out there. Um, and, and we've honestly had a good time. We'll continue to go back there. Um, we don't venture out too much on the menu, um, but the, the items that we have had before, I mean, they're, they're good. Um, mm-hmm. So you may want to give another try just because, yeah. you know, it's not terrible. I need to be in a better frame. I need to be in a better frame of mind, I think. And maybe maybe go for lunch rather than dinner at the end of a long week. Yeah, for was me, probably not good. For me, the menu is restrictive. Yeah. yeah. Very it's an odd menu. It is an odd menu because yeah. they have a bunch of items, yet it feels like they don't have that much. Yeah. Well, that's it. My, I, it was quiche. Cheese and broccoli quiche and French onion soup. It's a weird combination. Mm. And the, the French onion soup was very salty. They seem mm. to oversalt everything, I've noticed, this trip. Mm. Um, I don't yeah. know. I'd have to have some sort of leverage to well, you've got plenty go of time back. Out. If October goes ahead. Right, anyway, let's move on. Yes, but Penelope was good. She was awesome. Uh, where shall we go next? Right, let's do, we'll leave that one till last. So I've left the two the two big items uh-huh. for last. And I think we'll go parade floor on Thursday night. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. And let, let's just say first, it's so lucky that we went yeah. and oh, got that yes. float. Because we were originally, we wanted to do that Friday. Yes. Um, so we were planning to do the the float on Friday, so that on Thursday we could hang out at the parks and everything, and then you know, casual may, maybe have an hour of rest or whatever, and then go to the meetup uh, with everybody. Mm-hmm. But it just turned out that we had we're gonna have to do the float on Thursday the same day, so and pleased. oh, well, we just have to make it work. But thank God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it was just an awesome experience, oh. right? Oh, one of the best experiences of my life. I've said it, this trip for me was, it It wasn't the best. But, oh my God. There was God. a lot of circumstances that contributed to that. This is a standout moment oh, from any trip to doubt. Universal at this point. I am so proud of the fact that we ran out of beans. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A third of the way. No. Yeah. Two yeah. thirds, maybe. Yeah, let me say the difference between being a balloon handler and being on a float, a uh, uh, float all day, every day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> be a balloon handler again like having to sit there and hold that balloon for half an hour backstage uh as opposed to like just like casually like hanging out and then they're like Mm -hmm. all right come on let's go get on a float sweet all right (laughs) that was it there was the whole experience from like checking in you get that little bit of chill out time that we got in in um central park Mm -hmm. and then once they took you backstage it was like being a horror nights again which you know i'm not going to complain about um Mm -hmm. and then from that moment on their whole job is to get you amped. And yeah. it's a party from that point on. Even yeah. though you're not even on stage at that point, you're just backstage and they're yeah. getting you prepped for what's to come. Mm-hmm. Well, even the driver came out and was... Having a laugh. Having a laugh and, and, oh, it, was and it was awesome. Just... It was so yeah. good. And then... Fox, right? Yeah, yeah Fox. Fox oh, shout out to Fox, our... our yeah, our... Our hype what man. What do you call them? Like, po- our hype uh, man. Yeah. Float manager? Yeah, something like that. Um, yeah, and... Uh, Really cool that he was authentic. He was straight from New Orleans. He Mm -hmm. worked on the uh, parades at Mardi Gras in New Orleans. Uh, So it was awesome to have his perspective there and talking to us and everything about that. So, yeah. Yeah. We had like a a laugh with other people on the floor with us as well, because obviously we took pretty much one side. There was nine of us. But then, like, the people above us on the next level on our side, we were having a laugh with them. Darren and Chris were pimping out the podcast to them and passing off podcast badges. (laughs) The guy above us kept throwing his beads on my head, yeah. which is great at the end when we were running out, so that was fine. But it's just, yeah. like, you can always tell how awesome an, an experience is by how long it feels like it goes for. So from <laughs> getting flash. backstage to ending the parade is, what, an hour, an hour and a half? Oh, really? It must have been, it's like yeah, 45, 45 minutes, maybe an yeah, hour and 15 minutes then. 
It felt like 10 seconds. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that parade is 45 minutes long. So once you get outside from that point, it's 45 minutes long. And it went by like that. Yeah. I want to do that again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it, was, it was just such an awesome experience. And it I'll even was. say, because we've done it before. And like, it was just, you know, Alexa, just me and Alexa. And um, doing it with like a giant group like we did, pff, that was like, way like, it was just crazy fun yeah. right because even after we ran out of beads well we we're just nina just started breaking out dancing and, yeah uh, and just clapping and, and yeah it was clapping, awesome. yeah. And we were all just having a good time like it's such an awesome experience yeah especially in the group awesome. yeah yeah well, it's time for us to say this because it's not impossible for that to happen with anybody else <laughs> okay yeah and then <laughs> well, we also had, uh, the the uh we had a couple uh Producers Club members running around outside. I think it was yeah, Stephanie, Tom, Tom, Kurt, and uh, Chuck. Yeah. yeah. So Dude, cool. Tom was running along the side. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know, one of those little camera rollers that they that they use, but he's just running, just bumping into people, just videoing us. It was awesome. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so much fun. It really was. was, it was awesome. Yeah. yeah. I, w- I won't tell a story about the rude child. Oh, no. I thought you were going to, actually. I think <laughs> you should. Save that for the Producers Club exclusive. That's a good idea. Um, so that leads us on to, I think, what was the piece de resistance to our trip. My bucket list item. Oh, was yeah. The recording of episode 391 in the broadcast center at, at Universal Studios Florida was just, again, another experience which flew by. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was so surreal. It was, it was just bizarre. But it was, but it was so chilled at the same time. I think because we've mm-hmm. already got that relationship there with Blake and Ali and Bob. As soon as we got, set, as soon as we got sat down, I wasn't nervous. It was just, I yeah, was just chill with the fact with, with these guys again. And it was just And I wasn't nervous. So and I've nice. always said I get nervous before every single interview. And I was like, I'm going to be throwing up because it's the first time I've done it in person. And I wasn't at all. No. Which no, worried me slightly. Thing. That would have been our last interview there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Chris, you came to life. Yeah. In that. I've never seen you be so <laughs> animated. Like, normally you tend to drift off a little bit in podcasting. Like, is he still there? And you were like. I know what the secret was. was. Chris was stood up. Maybe we all should stand up when we record. It probably does make a difference, <laughs> yeah, actually. it was. Yeah. <laughs> That those, is my really amazing microphone I had there, which I want. My only uh, issue with those yeah. microphones is, like Bob said, they are super directional. And because uh-huh. there's no pop filter on them, you have to be so careful. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're just not used to professional broadcasting, so. No, you're talking about three grand microphones. <gasps> yeah. But it was, uh, I felt like a proper a proper radio personality yeah. at that point. Well, that's okay. When we're back over there, we'll go and record another show in there. Yeah. Well, depending on what happens, if the world goes to hell in the next seven <laughs> months, we might be doing it again in October, but who the hell knows what happens at this point? Might yeah. really look like a zombie apocalypse. I'm ready. Yeah. I've been ready for years. Been telling you. That'd be perfect for Halloween Horror Nights 30, by the way. Yeah. And so the weirdest, the weirdest thing that we found out when we were recording was that minions are real. I mean, first of all, I, I don't even know if we're supposed to talk about that, but also how badly they treat them. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they them great. But was, they are, they, they do like, you know, they run around the studio and give you sodas and stuff like that. So it was just yeah. awesome. And they all smell like banana. We got ourselves on the, uh, the digital hall of, what was it? Was it, it was called the talk of fame, yes. wasn't it? Well, that was so cool. Yeah. Just, ah. Oh. Yeah. No, just just go going into the studio that we've, you know, like looked in, put your face against the glass eight thousand yeah. times as you walk by, and went, "Oh man, it would be so cool to record in there." And then actually getting to it, you know, oh. it was just. I know it uh, was. It was when we stood outside, taking photographs, and the voice behind us goes, "Blake, are you coming in? No, you're just going to stand out there all day." <laughs> yeah. like, we couldn't actually. We didn't know where the door was. No. That was the worst thing. Yeah, yeah. The front door is not a door. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And I want, Which I want the obvious uh, now is like, I mean, that yeah. would be awful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you walking so here? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's this? Can we sit down, touch things? I want the table that was in the little lobby. Look like a big cassette. Oh yeah. That was so cool. It was like the little coasters. Did you guys get one of the little yes. coasters? That... Oh, 
Oh, yeah. So cool. Much. I do actually think we were supposed to write our names on them and put them on the wall. No, I wanted to keep them. Well, we'll do that oh. next time. Because when oh, I've looked yeah. at photos, they're all pinned on the wall. Oh, but it was oh. so awesome. I think it, it worked. It was... It made it easier, obviously, because it was Blake. You know, we've all met Blake. We've hung yeah. out with Blake. We have a relationship with him now, and it's and yeah. it's awesome to just sit and chew the fat with with Blake. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It's just it was just all we needed was a few beers. <laughs> it was that kind of thing, wasn't it? It was just so awesome. And it gets to the rescue. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> right. Yeah. Well, as I said, we still need to cover Mardi Gras, so I guess we're going to do a full episode on that. I didn't realise yeah, we were going we to talk can. this much about this trip. but um, I like how he says we. He hasn't paused for breath. Well, here's a question. Because, Darren, did you actually get to experience Mardi Gras other than the parade float? And like what um, we did on the Friday night, the, like the little bit of food and stuff. Have you actually been other than that? Like ever or just this year? This year. This year, no. I did not get to go back and do that. Oh, but man. like on Friday, on Friday... We were there for a little bit. Yeah, uh, hey, weren't you with us when we were like by? It was like, just the hangout area with the the, the the party, the dancing, and all that. Or yeah, yeah it, it was, was with just, us. Then. Yeah. But obviously, never got to cold and windy. It yeah. was just it like was, an awful, it was brutal time. Yeah. Yeah. And you never yeah. got to see the parade like from the other side and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah, tried some of the food and stuff. I'm sure there's plenty we can chew the fat over. We'll knock that yeah. back for two weeks, I think. And yeah, but I've been before previous yeah. years stuff like that. I know. I don't know how yeah. it goes. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well. There we go. We hope that's been a little bit more upbeat. Yeah. With, uh, well, at least uh, 50% of it, maybe. Yeah, that's us. You're always yeah. good. Look, we've always prided ourselves on being honest Absolutely. about our experiences. And yeah. if we think something's awesome, we're going to call it awesome. And if we don't, then we don't. But again, it's all down to personal experience. You know, <laughs> someone else can go to Tucson and have the best meal yeah. ever. We unfortunately didn't. Well, it's 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 cowfish all over. First time was terrible. Second time, I would go back now after that second visit because I thought the food was great and everything. Bloody hell! And you know hell. how much? Well, I I, I told you that. You so toothsome. So toothsome has now become the butter. We have to change it now from cowfish to toothsome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But but uh, oh um uh, sorry go ahead. No no I was just gonna say that the highs outweighed the lows, which is always a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, and I was just gonna say the. Uh, the upbeat like being upbeat right now in this time this time is just carrying on i think so mm-hmm. that's what we're doing yep. yeah and oh yeah give you, give you our review like we do and um just kept on keeping on yeah and that's what we'll keep, keep on, on trying, trying. Well, actually i'll chuck him one last one when he went to the today cafe again i love that place so much mm-hmm. oh yeah i had the 30s that's rock good. midtown at this time which was gorgeous i also had the mardi gras cake and that was one hell of a slab of cake with a macaron on the top it was gorgeous yeah Mm-hmm. Um, I did ask how much their coffee, oh, yeah. bag of coffee was, and was it fifteen? Fifteen dollars, yeah. And I went, "That's okay, I'll leave that." He went, "What? You don't want to buy it?" I was like, "No, <laughs> no, I really don't." <laughs> so, but I love that place. Yeah, that's when I bumped into another vlogger that we watch, oh, Flix yeah. Flix. Yeah, <laughs> if this bumped me, with the children because he already knew the coronavirus was coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, looking forward to coming back and revisiting. This in two weeks. Oh, I thought you were going to say going back to the resort in two weeks. We won't. No, be. I wish we were. Well, I don't because no, it's not open. Be shut. Um, because Mardi Gras was everything I wanted and more. That's all I'll say. We'll just yeah. We'll come back to it. It was just a shame it got cut short for us and in general. Well, yeah. 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 Cool. Right. Well, that's going to wrap up another show, and of course, we're going to wrap up with another Universal is, and this one comes from Chris Perrin. Um, so again please people if you want to get involved send us what you think Universal is in three words or less to podcast at you or podcast.com and we will share them on the end of the show and to wrap this one up Chris says Universal is Magical Movie Mayhem see you next week guys cut print that's a wrap for another episode of the unofficial Universal Orlando podcast Never miss a show by subscribing on Apple Podcasts and leave us a rating and review while you're there. Not an Apple user? You can listen on Stitcher, Spotify, YouTube, iHeartRadio, or your podcatcher of choice. Email us any questions or comments to podcast at uuopodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Pinterest. Just search UUO Podcast. Keep up with the latest news, rumors, and updates on our blog at uuopodcast.com. Thanks for listening. See you next week.